guys, Clint Ace Networker, and what happened to the CCENT? That's the big question, and I'm going to talk about that here. We're going to, I'm going to give you the basics and the rundown of the changes that have been made. I know that we're here primarily to get you started in the networking field, so this is really my channel and my videos here, my posts, are primarily for those that are looking to just get started in the networking field, and we're going to be talking about those issues but the big issue on the books right now is after you get your Network Plus, let's say you get your Network Plus certification first because it's kind of a an all-inclusive uh, overall topic certification that you can get and you can kind of get the feel for what a certification feels like. And it's still a distinguished CompTIA certification in the industry. But most people, when they get into the networking field, when they start first start out, they may get their A Plus to learn about desktops, laptops, tablets, and just basically the PC, the local PC or local smart computer, how it works. Then they'll move on to Network Plus if they want to get into the networking field and more specifically into being like a network engineer, a senior network engineer. So they will typically go for some, one of the industry standard, recognized standards like Cisco certifications, like CCNA. Now, after CCNA, you can get your CCNP or CCIE, or you can move into the Microsoft certifications, you know, MCSE, MCSA, those types of things. But here's the really important part. CCNA, as of today, today is February 24th, 2020, the CCNA exam is now all one single exam. Now, previous to today... And for the last 8 to 10 months, I know probably longer than that, everybody's been talking about this change that's coming along today. What does it mean? I don't like changes. I, how am I supposed to study for this thing? I don't know what you want me to do with this. I'm going to have to study new material now. All of these questions have come along and really been dominating the online environment when it comes to computer networking. So CCNA, prior to today, prior to today, let's go back in the past, up until today, February 24, 2020, the CCNA exam could be taken in two different exams. The first one was part one, which was ICND one. Now, if and then you could go and take your ICND two. Now, after you passed both of those, you would then have your CCNA certification. So it allowed you to kind of study more specifics on the first half and the second half of that certification exam. The important thing that I want you to remember here is this. That isn't going to happen anymore. Now, the biggest thing about the ICND-1 was once you passed the ICND-1 exam and certification, you were not only halfway toward to your CCNA, but you were then considered a CCENT certification. And that was recognized. In fact, if you scheduled, took the test, and passed ICND-1 for CCNA, and you passed it prior to today, February 24, 2020, you have a CCNT or CCENT certification that will last for three years. It's still honored as a CCENT certification for three years. The difference is today you can no longer take the ICND-1 and ICND-2 separate tests. Today, and there is no CCENT certification anymore after today. So if you took the test, say, yesterday, which was a Sunday, but let's say you took the test yesterday and you passed it, you are now CCENT certified for the next three years, but you will be the last of that breed when it comes to that certification. And the important part to remember is that a lot of changes have taken place on the overall CCEN, CCNA certification exam, but it is now just one test. And in fact, there are no longer 10 flavors of the CCNA. There used to be different flavors. There used to be uh, routing, uh, CCNA routing, CCNA enterprise, CCNA switching, you used to have different aspects of the CCNA that you could actually focus on and specific certifications in that. No longer, no longer the case. Now, now you just take one test for CCNA. Now, the, the only time you have differentiations is when you move up to a CCNP level. When you get to the CCNP level, now you're talking about you can have some more specialized differentiations going on in there. Now, if you are looking at this video on my YouTube channel, I highly recommend I invite you to subscribe to my channel, click the bell to be notified whenever I come up with new videos. 
but make sure to leave a comment below uh, about what you think about these changes that are coming along. The other thing I want to throw in here is this. Yusef Baiji and Joe Clark, these are both, uh, Yusef is a senior manager of certification programs at, C at Cisco. Joe is a distinguished services engineer for Cisco. And both of them have a video. You can watch it here, or you can check out the link below. I'm going to put a link in the description here directly to that video. It's, it's called a deep dive into CCNA, and it's going to give you, uh, they, they sit down and they do an interview with them, and they, they go through the, the overall aspects of all the changes that have been made on these certifications. Now, for you guys that are just starting out, and you guys that are typically with me on this channel, you know that I'm here as Ace Networker to help you pass the Network Plus certification exam, and I'm here to help you launch your skyrocketing, hopefully, career, which it probably will be if you stay with it, your skyrocketing career in the field of networking in general. So we're going to lay out that path, but part of the, the big to-do, if you will, the big talk around the town, all over the Internet, has been, when it comes to networking, has been the changes that Cisco made to their certification exams and primarily to the CCNA and them doing away with the CCENT as of today. So, as of today, you can no longer take a test and be CCENT certified. Now you have to start with a CCNA when it comes to Cisco certification exams. But I highly invite you to check out that video and then come back here and we're going to get you started right down the right path. Now, the other thing I want to leave you with is this. It's, it's not that scary. It is a big change. But it's a change that's been coming on for a long time. The uh, IT industry changes extremely rapidly. I mean, it's constantly changing. Now, some things stay the same. There are some protocols and things that we'll always rely on, that we'll always use, because those are the technologies that our present technology is built on. And until something new comes along, which it could with just about anything, um, we're going to utilize some of those older technologies and older ways of doing things within the newer technologies. So there are some things that never change. There are some things that change on a daily basis when it comes to IT in general. Just take a deep breath and relax and understand that these big changes have been coming along for some time. Everybody's been talking about them. But I wanted to kind of clarify in today's video, today's post, really what those changes are and just give you the basics of those let you go watch that interview and you can kind of get a, a better feel for yourself more of the details about what's actually occurring on certification for CCNA. Again, I'm Ace Networker from the great state of Texas. I'm here to help you pass the Network Plus and launch your career in the IT networking field. So with that, I will say see you in the next video.